In this tutorial video we're going to be having a look at small angle approximations. So before we have a look at this exam question, let's go through what small angle approximations actually are. Well when we're dealing with angles in radians, especially small angles, there's a few approximations we can make to make the calculations easier. So when dealing with sine thetas, when the angle's small, it just so happens that this is approximately equal to theta itself. Tan theta the same. So when tan theta is small, or rather when theta is small, tan theta is approximately equal to theta. And then cos theta, when theta is small, equal to 1 minus theta squared over 2. So whenever, whenever we're dealing with small angles, if we see sine theta anywhere, we can replace it with theta. Whenever we see tan theta, we can replace it with theta. And whenever we see cos theta, we can replace it with 1 minus theta squared over 2. So let's have a go at this question now. So it says, show that for a small angle theta, where theta is in radians, 1 plus cos theta minus 3 cos squared theta is approximately equal to that. So let's go for it. So we've got 1 plus, well, cos theta, because the angle's small, is approximately equal to 1 minus theta squared over 2. And that's equal to 3 lots of, well, cos squared theta is 1 minus theta squared over 2. That's cos, so cos squared is that there. So let's simplify that. 1 plus 1 is 2, minus theta squared over 2, minus 3 lots of 1 minus theta squared over 2, 1 minus theta squared over 2. Okay, keep going. 2 minus theta squared over 2, minus 3 lots of, so let's get this multiplied out, 1 minus theta squared over 2 minus theta squared over 2 plus theta to the power of 4 over 4 so notice how in the answer that we're expecting there's no theta to the power of 4 term that's because theta is small so when theta is small if we're raised at the power of 4 it's going to make it even smaller so let's say theta is for example 0.2 if we raise that to the power of 4, it becomes a 625th or 1.6 times 10 to the negative 3, which is insignificant. So we can essentially ignore powers of 3 and above of theta here. Equals 2 minus theta squared over 2 minus 3 lots of, well, 1 and those 2 half theta squareds combine to make a negative theta squared. Keep going with that. So equal to 2 minus theta squared over 2 minus 3 plus 3 theta squared. And 2 minus 3 is minus 1. And 3 theta squared take away a half theta squared is 5 over 2 theta squared, as we were asked to show. For more resources like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.